Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today I have a little video on how I reclaim items on ThreadUp. Now in 2020, they implemented a charge fee of shipping for $5.99 to reclaim your items if they did not sell in a cleanup kit. Well, that can accumulate and I try to find ways to eat that cost. So, like I said, it's $6 for the shipping to get your items back. And this is what I do. It is not available to everybody, so I just want to disclose that. It depends if you're a newer account. The account that I was able to use was probably five months old and I already had access. And so it's using the outlet. I shopped via the outlet, which I can't get on the website, but I can use on the app on my phone. There's a certain spot I'll show you up here on the website that says outlet. You specifically go to that section and you can sort by brand and everything. I will put a screen recording right here of how I search. And I went through assorted brands just in, in what I like to do on my phone or even on my computer. Well, actually I don't have access to the outlet like I stated, so I am on my phone shopping by assorted brands just in and I simply click on the pictures if it looks like it's something I might be able to Google image search or if I could find hardware logos or something to identify it by brand because a lot of times people mistake items when they're working at thread up listing and photographing as far as knowing which brand it is and I'm going to show you some items that I found see if they're hit misses if it was worth my money or investment. So I spent a total of 32-ish dollars, I'll put the total amount, but I remember how much I paid for each item. So what that does is it kind of helps because I'm shopping online, I'm sourcing online essentially, having the items sent directly to my house, but I'm also getting items reclaimed that I'm going to actually resend to thread up. Now, side note, as far as reclaiming, Depending on my buy-in cost and the brand, I do not reclaim everything on ThreadUp. It depends on how many items I reclaim. They state you can only reclaim up to 35 per bundle, but I've heard of somebody reclaiming uh, almost 100, and I always do the, when you go to check out, do the seven days of bundling and saving. Now you do get free shipping if you spend $79 or more over that period of time. However, I don't. But it does take time going through the website, however you want to shop. But this is how I specifically did it and scored these items right here. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the items I bought to resell. These are all under assorted. And my most exciting, probably, were these pants. They were simply black pants on their website but they were um they listed them as like a size 31 or 32 so that caught my attention because i'm like okay that's a, a larger size uh 32 so um and then i clicked on the picture and zoomed in and as you see that is lululemon so then I clicked on, because I show you the front and the back of each piece of clothing. So then I clicked on the back picture and I zoomed in on the leg where you should see something. And sure enough, I saw the Lululemon logo. Now, I was excited, but I held my breath till I got the item today. So these are indeed Lululemon. They are size 32s with the rip tag still attached. These are men's, um, which is great because I've never actually found Lululemon men's clothing in the thrift store ever. And I've been told by several sellers that it sells better and faster. These are an older style because I'm gonna say this, I have not seen that inside before. The stitching is spot on. The, I mean, I pulled out I mean, the mesh pockets seem, I mean, everything seems legit, as I've sold quite a bit of Lululemon in the past. But I believe these are an older style. The, so the, I don't know the exact style name, I'll have to do some research, but they have a lot of pockets. There's like a side zipper pocket here, and what's weird is like, 
don't know if it's gonna focus enough for you, but it's see how it's like almost a tulip pattern. And I just took these out of the box and there's already like a few animal hairs on them and they're not from my animals. <laughs> so um but yeah. Like I said, these are size 32 and they are 88% nylon. And like the, the tag's pretty faded. Um polyamide and 12% spandex. So I'll do a quick Google. Oh, the style name it looks like is C-H-A-R-0-1. So I will look these up and put the style name up in the corner if I find them. But they look kind of faded on camera. They are actually true black. I do not see any sense of wear or flaws at the moment. Yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. These were a little over $7. And I would totally spend seven dollars on these at the thrift, especially being men's. So that was probably my most exciting find. So you simply <laughs> like pit zoom in on your phone, and you can find amazing things if you know your logos and brands. Next, I got this. Okay, so I have always thought that thread up separated their two pieces like if you sent in suits swimsuits like a sweater set they've always separated however they were selling this swimsuit as a set I was shocked I got it because the brand is Catalina based off of this style I swear I had a swimsuit very very similar in the 90s this is vintage and it's a size 2x that's the other reason I got it I sell plus size swimsuits I think my sell-through rate is near 100%. So, in the style, you know, it's like the Hawaiian floral tropical print. These are in very nice condition. I thought there might be wear or the elastic might have been bad, but these are very clean. So, just like a nice halter bikini style. I spent about $6. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, about $6 on that swimsuit. And I would be happy, I'll probably list this for like $35. I wouldn't aim as high because I think Catalina used to be sold at Walmart or it currently is sold at Walmart. But because these are vintage, they're made with better quality. So, okay. The next item I actually got for myself. I love tie-dye. I love bright colors. I love happy positive sayings. And this says happy. It's kind of hard to read because it is a knotted shirt. This is just a cheap boutique brand. It's an extra large probably fits more like a large, but I like my stuff oversized. Um, obviously I currently won't be wearing this because I'm due like next week with a baby. So, um, <laughs> I won't currently fit me, but all right. The next one is, eh, okay. That, uh, tie dye top I spent $5 on, but that's for myself. All right. So I wanted to get these because these are a nice basic pleated front with the elastic on the back trouser and they're 100 viscose typically when it's viscose uh it's a little bit better quality than like ring on or polyester they have a tapered leg it looks like a little bit of a sewn rolled hem bottom hem and these were under assorted i got them because i thought they're european size 36 but like they i'm not sure they said Euro size 36, but here is the brand. I tried Googling it without much luck, L-O-V, but like I said, these are 100% viscose. And that's really all. So these were only $3. I could sell them just based off of style probably for like 20, depending on the size, but they are a larger size. Again, they've got that tapered leg. These would be like really nice travel pants. Very cozy. I just gotta figure out sizing because a 36, a Euro, European 36 is I think smaller. And those look like a larger size, like a size 12, like women's 12. Okay, this last piece, I think this is the last piece that I bought from the outlet. Um. I thought this was actually vintage. They say they don't accept vintage, but they do. 
I have actually bought vintage from previous times I've reclaimed to resell. Okay, so I saw this. I didn't see the flap of material, but I saw the print and it looked very mod, like very 60s, 50s, 60s style with the high waist. And it's 100% silk. So I went ahead and I got it. I think this was $5.60 or something like that. And I am excited about this piece. This is a brand I've never heard of. So yes, I got it and it is a modern piece with this like almost faux wrap. It is new with tags. This is an Australian brand. I don't know if it's called, if it's one word or two words. I'm gonna say Rachel Alex. And like I said, this is 100% silk. The lining is even 100% silk. These retail for a decent amount. Um, I'm gonna say probably $200. Their dresses retail for like 500. I couldn't find the direct website just right before I filmed this for you guys. Um, it says that each garment may vary with respect to print placement. Oh, just because of the patterns. So, yes, designed in Australia. This is a, a US size two. And there is the brand. And I'm going to say this is midi length. Again, this is high waisted. I love the colors of like the aquas and teals and blues. Now, just because it retails for a lot doesn't mean it resells for a lot. Um, this is a pretty obscure brand, at least when I just did a quick Google. I believe I saw something, a skirt was listed for $25 on eBay and I had two watchers. However, that like there are only three listings total for the whole brand. So I'm going to list mine at 50. I just see a few on Poshmark, but it's an ex obscure Australian brand. So I'm just going to hold out and again, I paid $5. So even if I can sell it for 25, I would be totally happy. So those are the items that I bought to resell. And that is how I typically reclaim items when I have time. Now I only reclaim items again that I plan to send back in that I believe can make me a higher profit. The items that only flip for like five to six dollars, unless I have a quantity of like 10 or more, I'm not going to reclaim. Now keep in mind, you can only reclaim items if there is seven or less days left on the listing for thread up. And I will disclose that if there is, because a lot of times I'll wait, you know, you get the email notifications you're supposed to when there's seven days left on each listing so if you have a lot you're gonna get a lot of emails for each individual listing and sometimes I'll wait and I've waited a few times for to get the 24-hour notice listing and actually I've had um, when you click and you go into that kit to reclaim it immediately after getting the 24-hour notification email and it says it's under expired now I've had it happen where it's moved under the expired area in your kit but there's still a reclaim button next to it. However, when you go to reclaim, like some error message pops up. So if live chat is not available, um, which is the best way for me to communicate, it depends on their hours, if they're open. I feel like Twitter is the second fastest option. However, I have multiple, I have three accounts total. And so I use each individual like social media platform for a specific account. Anyways, uh, their only way for me to communicate on this account was for was through um, email unfortunately so I emailed and it said it could take like up to five business days and let me tell you it took probably four business days for me to get a response on like a Brighton purse and a classics and tier jacket and the jacket had already gone to consignment so they said and so they paid me out something very minuscule hardly anything like seven dollars or something ridiculous and I'm just like okay whatever because I get my items for a low cost of goods however I was able to reclaim the Brighton bag so it just goes to show yes when you deal with consignment you are not in control so you have to be okay with sending your items and they're possibly getting lost damaged um, I know a lot of people get upset with thread up but they do so much of the work However, I'm on their website every single day seeing what's selling, um, have I been paid out yet when I was supposed to, and if not, I simply reach out to customer service. I've never had a problem. They've always been very polite. So anyways, 
I'm going to go ahead now and show you items that ha did not sell and um, kind of give you an idea of the brands I do reclaim. Also, brands and styles, it does vary. So, this dress, I can't decide if I want to list it myself. It is J. Crew size 4. Now, obviously, I sent this in during the wrong season, in my opinion. This is more of a summer dress, and it is a hot, wrinkled mess. Has this really cute ruffle neckline with some eyelet trim detail, and it's like a shift dress. Just a nice royal blue, and this was selling over the winter months. Again, wrong time of the season. So I don't feel like steaming it. I may just send it back in, but they don't steam their items either. That's that's a maybe. I don't know. Okay. The next item, I used to do really well with Calvin Klein, um, selling the brand there so last year, the year before on ThreadUp. This year, I've been reclaiming a lot of the, the Calvin Klein, and I do mark mine up a little bit, so I don't know if that's why or what the reason is, but these are Calvin Klein size 4. These are faux, I think these faux leather, yeah, they feel like faux leather, but they are faux leather skinny pants, or at least slim leg. Very edgy, very on trend. The gold hardware. They surprisingly did not sell. I think I have sent those in the thread up twice. So I will reuse thread ups pictures. I usually make like a collage and edit it a little bit. So I will probably resell those myself. And this is like $30. Pendleton prices so well at ThreadUp. I'm really surprised these didn't sell. It's a size 24, just a plaid mini skirt. I will send this back in, but like I said, um, it's the wrong season. So, yeah. Um, these I actually got off of the Real Real for like $12. Um, I thought these were edgy enough that they would stand out. They're like a metallic gray silver pant with a slim leg. And they're a size four. They're the Thompson style. And they did not sell. I sent them in once and I believe I had to, I marked them up enough to the point I had to pay a $6 reclaim fee for this one item, which is pretty poor. Um, so I will probably send those in one more time. Otherwise, I'm just going to eat the cost and I don't want them back. The next item I reclaimed, J. Crew. This is an older tag, but this is the Super 120s, which is um, higher quality linen that people specifically seek out. Size 8, or not linen, wool. This one's 100% wool. I think I'm going to actually list this myself. Purple is supposed to be like the color of the season. And, uh, and I will list that myself. All I do is take close-up pictures, and like I said, I use thread ups pick or I use thread ups pictures. I'm completely honest and transparent with you guys. Uh, Carl Lagerfeld. So this retails for a lot, doesn't resell for that much, unfortunately. They did not price this blouse very much, so I'm going to sell that myself because I think I paid four dollars for that at the thrift. My first time going through a lot of this. My reclaims. Um, for your reclaims, another thing to look for. If it wasn't, well, even if it wasn't an item that was returned, like bought and then returned by a buyer, I always look over stuff because if it's damaged, I contact customer service. And because they're reclaims, a lot of times they won't necessarily pay you out for the payout you would have gotten if it would have sold. But usually they'll pay you out what their pricing would be. So just keep that in mind. It depends on who you talk to because I've had. It work both ways but this is just Chico's size 1 quilted jacket um, I do not sell Chico's myself so I'm just gonna send that back in this is the first I've never seen them use air bubbles here is an item I haven't been able to sell myself so I sent it in and Taylor size 2 again I think it was the wrong season so I'm gonna send that one back in Almost done. These are heavy. Oh, Talbots. 
size eight. Talbot's actually um, does not price as well on thread up as I thought it would. So I'm going, it did it before their like changes from 2020. So I'm going to sell that myself. This is heavy. Oh, so this, <laughs> I've had this for two years. It's Mumio, which is a discontinued line off of Prada. I got it for like a dollar fifty, maybe five dollars. It's a wool pea coat with a cute little like bow accent on the neckline, and I was able to price this at like eleven hundred dollars on ThreadUp's website, which means I would have gotten a payout of eight to nine hundred dollars. There were like sixty some likes. I lowered the price a little bit, little by little bit, hoping it would sell because of course I want that big payout, and it never sold. And so I'm gonna send it in for one more cycle. I'm going to put it in my expedited box. It's going to go out next week. Fingers crossed it sells, but it's the very tail end of the season. Otherwise, I'm going to relist it myself, try selling it myself. Actually, no, I'm not. Take that back. Because previously I had it listed for like $250 myself um, across platforms and uh, no luck. So I will hold on to that until next fall, then send it in. But um, that was my last piece. I know I need to do thread up what sold videos I haven't done any for a long time but I do want to let you know that I have gotten payouts of like about two thousand dollars and so I've just been accruing it I've been studying stuff in since July but I don't think any of it got processed till the end of summer so and I haven't been sending in a whole lot just because I don't find a whole lot that would work well for thread up so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it can help you when you go to reclaim some of your thread up items if you want to reclaim. And have a great day. All right, bye.